Alright, still the application of calculus, but now we're going to calculus of motion, question 10. Particle moves along a straight line, the distance s in meters of the particle from a fixed point on the line at time t seconds, t must be bigger or equal to 0. It's given by s, t equal to 2t squared minus 8t plus 45. Calculate the particle's initial velocity. Velocity is the rate of change of distance. So, there we have distance. To find velocity, I have to find the first derivative. So first, I would say st, that was given. First derivative, 2 times 2 gives me 40. 1 times minus 18, minus 18, the rest falls away. Make that equal to 0. That gives me 4 times 0. Minus 18 equal minus 18 meters per second. That became zero because they said particles initial velocity. So at initial velocity time is zero. So there minus 18 meters per second. 10.2 determine the rate at which the velocity of the particle is changing at t seconds. So we want the rate at which velocity is changing. Rate of velocity acceleration. I assume you know that, so that means I have to find the first derivative of velocity or second derivative of displacement or distance in this case. Right? So if I find second derivative of that, 1 times 4 would simply give me 4, first second derivative of 18 becomes 0. So the second derivative equal 4 meters per second squared. 10.3, after how many seconds will be the particle be the closest to the fixed point so we're looking at the velocity making that equal to zero remember the particle the distance of particle from a fixed point in line time t seconds so we have to look at how the distance and time changes so displacement over time is velocity so first derivative there 40 minus 18 that's velocity make it equal to zero 40 equal 18 18 divided by 4 simplifies to 9 over 2 or 4,5 seconds. So I hope you follow calculus of motion. First derivative we find velocity. Second derivative we find acceleration. Right? All the best. Continue practicing. Bye.